Hello model car fans, welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ral, and this week I want to show you this uh, 3D printed kit that I had picked up. I would showed it in my uh, uh, What's Coming This Year video for you guys, and uh, that's getting a lot of responses, and, and I really appreciate it, but uh, I was hoping that you guys would uh, like this this idea, this kit, and uh, so I, I showed it on there, and the response has been favorable, so I'll show building it and share it with you as I'm building it so you can see all the steps and and everything that's going along with uh, with building this uh, kit but um, some of you recognize it I mentioned it and and some may not but if you're familiar with the the movie the Wraith which is a, a 80s movie a car movie that's uh, actually pretty cool I really enjoy the movie uh, I've watched it many times and and I've always wanted to build this particular car that's featured in the movie this is the Dodge Turbo Interceptor, and it's the main car of the Wraith, which is a ghost. The plot of the movie is the guy that was murdered come back as a ghost, and he avenges his own death uh, against this uh, street racing gang of uh, criminals that uh, murdered him. So he's getting them back. So he's go after them. If you've seen the movie, cool. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's worth a try. It's funny because Charlie Sheen is in it for like the first ten minutes, and He's the main guy, but he's not the main guy. He's the main guy before he dies, but not uh, the Wraith uh, as he appears in the rest of the movie. But in essence, it's the same character. But anyway, not getting into the movie too much. What I got here is a 3D printed uh, model. And I got to say, I like the idea of 3D printing. I've bought a few things here and a few things there. Most of which I have not been truly impressed with, uh, to be honest with you. This is one of those uh, kits as well. I like 3D printing. I like where it's going. I think it still needs some work, but it really depends on uh, the printer and the quality. Because I have bought some wheels, and they're very nice. Some of the ones I have bought uh, 3D printed, very nice. I've seen some really nice engine parts and some other things. But full kits like this, um, this is my second one. And when I saw the pictures and everything, I kind of knew that it was probably going to be a lot of work. And I wasn't sure if I really wanted to go for it or not on this particular one. I found this surfing the internet just for um, the Wraith cars and model kits. And on Etsy, E-T-S-Y website, uh, which is a 3D printing supplying site, I saw this kit on there. It's from Star Factory Models. They offer it in 118 scale and 124 scale. This is 124 scale. And uh, it's kind of expensive in my opinion for what you're getting. This The kit itself is $95. Now it's in Spain, so it's $41 to ship it plus tax. This was $150. And, you know, to my door basically. And took a couple of weeks. So, um, I don't know if it's really worth it for for what I'm getting so far. Jury's out on that. Well, it depends on how much I enjoy building it. But it's pictured just like this, so I, I pretty much knew what I was getting into. And I gotta say, I've kind of started to wash these already. And there's a lot of air pockets and bubbles in here. And this is basically, for all intents and purposes, I could say it's almost like a, a brick of foam. Basically, there's a lot of air pockets and you can really feel the texture. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is probably glue the front and the back half together and um, start working on it. I'll sand this a little bit more flat to give it a little bit more of a surface uh, to grab to and glue it together and then start the body work. But uh, I'm gonna prime it first. So the camera is kind of picking up. You can see it in the shadows because I only put one light on it so that it would shadow on purpose so that you can see um, all the straight edges because I mean this is going to take a whole lot of sanding and shaping and cleaning but it's all dark brown and black so it's going to take uh, quite a bit of work to, to clean this up but uh, I'm not afraid of doing that I'm going to do it and uh, I hope the result is really nice when I'm done but like you can see there's holes in there so water gets in there and uh, you know so I maybe have to fill those in but we'll we'll see on that. But same this one of the neat features of being 3D printed that makes it a little harder than resin. The spoiler is completely you know one piece, but you can see through it. Now that's gonna make it kind of fun to paint and probably sand in there. But it's it's good enough. 
Um, same kind of thing with this scoop on the side. You see the scoop? It goes all the way through. So you can see it right here, which is kind of cool. So I have to take a, a file and sandpaper and smooth that out, but uh, just trying to get paint in there as best as I can and uh, primer in there. But that's going to be the first step is I'm going to get this together um, and prime so we can see what we got. And then some of the other parts here, like it comes with these four wheels. So there's four of them. And the, the tread is left and right specific, so I got uh, two of each. So there's you know a couple lefts, a couple rights. And these appear fairly nice, um, but I'm the same thing. Got to clean these, prime these. There's some holes here. And it uh, looks like I got to get some metal rod to go through the chassis because they didn't provide that. Here's some spacers to space out the rear wheels. It looks like to space them out a little bit because when I quickly mock them up, the rear wheels are in but the front wheels are out. And I think, you know, looking at the movie photos and whatnot, um, you know, be able to see this stuff and gives me an excuse to watch the movie a little over and over again to see the scenes and, and study the car a little bit more. The Chrysler Pentastar is in the nose, which is cool. Don't know how crisp it is. It seems like this is really cut out right here for whatever reason. Um, I don't think the real car is that way. Like there should be a strip in there, but uh, I'll look closer at that. The headlights, they give you these and they kind of fit, but they're really not clear. So I got to figure them out. I'll see what I do there. So those really don't fit right out of the, right off the print. Same thing with this grill insert that goes right in here. Matter of fact, it's bowed the other way, but that doesn't fit in there. But I gotta clean all of that up, so make sure that fits. And that's what those are. These two, for a while, I was trying to figure out what they are, and it dawned on me that they're probably the extensions right here for the rockers. And I believe that's what they are, but uh, I'll double check and see what those are for. But uh, you know, once I clear all that out. And then the, the one part, here's the tail light. Same thing, all the 3D printed clear parts I've seen are not truly clear. They're frosty like this one, which when I paint this tail light red, should be fine. This is the only part that actually fits right, right out of there. It just, it goes right in there. So thankfully it fits. And then I'll foil the back here, or I'll actually put foil on the back side of this and I'll spray that with the turn signal or stoplight red, I'm sorry. And I'll spray that with the stoplight red. So I'm looking forward to doing that part, but you can see there's holes in that and then, you know, it's got its bumps and, you know, dips in there. So clean that up a little bit and then clean up inside the wing. You can really just see the texture and uh, the angles. You can see all of the uh, diagonals and stuff. So nothing on this is smooth, not, not a single bit of it. So... That's going to take quite a bit of work. You can really kind of see the the honeycomb build or effect to it. That's the word I was looking for earlier, honeycomb. And then I got to put the metal rod through there. The hole's there, but uh, no metal rod was given. I'll see if a coat hanger is the right size, um, and I'll go from there. Get my uh, calipers and maybe figure out what size that is. But a lot of cleanup in here. Some pinholes in in there. So. Once I get primer on here, it's really going to showcase all the little bits and I'll figure out what I need to do to, to sand on it, to smooth it out, um, what primer to use. I'll go with my super primer that I normally use from uh, Scale Finishes. That's what I've been using lately. So I'll give that a try and hopefully that sticks to it. Uh, we will see. But um, we'll get this one together and... And I'm glad you guys seem to be kind of excited to see what it takes to put one of these together in a build like this. I'm kind of skeptical uh, as far as at first and uh, whether you guys would be interested. But uh, we're going to get this one going and and it's just going to be a, a ton of body work really and cleaning out these wheel wells because they're not exactly um, smooth either. But a uh, ton of work involved in this. But uh, then again, it's just a curb site, so there's no body work, nothing else um, other than, you know, all of that. And hopefully these wheels prime good and they look pretty good. 
I don't know if you can see this one wheel. For some reason, there's a like a line there right by the lug nut, right, right on this one. And I don't know why, but it appears that maybe that's the only one that has it because I don't see it on any of the other wheels. And uh, the spokes seem to have printed fairly well. So we'll see how those, those paint and prime up. And I may have to pick at them with a needle to, to get them out and cleaned up. But um, there are wheel options, so I can you know keep my eye open on other wheels. But I'm going to give these a try. And as far as a tread pattern of tires, I think they look great. So, you know, tires and wheels, they're not too bad, really. But, um, yeah, we, we will see. This one seems to be bulged out a little bit right here. But we will see. So um, we'll keep this one going and I'll get it uh, cleaned up and primed and get started on this one and see what the, my assist, initial assessment is going to be after um, getting the two pieces made it into one and uh, see what it looks like and how much sanding is going to be involved and how many layers of, of primer I'm going to have to put on it. But uh, thankfully there's no opening hood, no opening parts. So, you know, nothing really to fit other than, you know, some of these parts here and figure out what I'm going to do. And, you know, if I can get those clear, like vacuum formed, then maybe I'll put uh, some of the square headlights in there or something to make it look a little bit better as far as the headlights go. But, um, it's it's a promising start and I like I like it and I like the general shape and the dimensions. So to me it looks fairly accurate in that respect. So I'm really happy with that. So we will see where this goes and, and how it goes. So um, thank you for your support and your comments and everything. And uh, thanks for tuning in, subscribing and everything. And you guys, you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Saturday.